What's up, guys? Welcome into the Nesson Studios. Michaela Vernava here. I am joined via Skype by Sadiq Youssef, UFC featherweight fighter, a real up and comer. Sadiq, how are you feeling about your fight this Saturday? It's coming up quickly against Andre Feely. Yeah, fantastic, man. I can't wait to get in there and put on the show. You're 3-0 and since the Contender Series in the UFC. What could a win this weekend do for you as far as the doors it could open? Yeah, a win this weekend is huge. You know, um, Andre philly has been in the division for a long time and he's been a good staple in the UFC for a while. So I think a win over him will put me on the upper echelon of the division. You are knocking on the door of the top 15 in the featherweight division, which is an absolutely loaded division in the UFC. Who in that top 15 right now would you like to fight in the near future? I'm not looking at that right now. With me, I, I, I don't look past my current opponents. The main goal right now is to get past Andre Philly, and then after that's happened, then we're going to look to match up against someone else. Well, two of your previous three wins were first round knockouts. You have a very exciting fighting style. What should we expect to see from you against Feely this weekend? It's the same, same, man. If you've ever seen me fight once, you kind of know what to expect. I don't really switch it up often. Well, you are still a rising fighter. What would you like to say to fans who haven't watched you fight? Why should they want to watch this fight on Saturday? It's, it's easy. Honestly, you just got to, if you, if you just Google my name, honestly, 10 seconds into watching any one of my highlight reels, I'm pretty sure you'll be hooked in. How do you feel about fighting on a card that has Conor McGregor on it? Because it will certainly be getting a lot of eyeballs, a lot of attention. It's a, it's a blessing, man. It's a great opportunity. My last um, fight, I fought on the card with a big, with a lot of attention too. I fought on the DC and Stipe card which is probably one of the biggest cards of the year. So the fact that I'm able to get on another giant card now, that means I must be doing something right. You are a native of the country Nigeria, and Israel Adesanya and Kamaru Uzman, also two Nigerians who have really made their way in the UFC. Do you have a relationship with them, and have you gotten any advice from those guys as you build your career? Yeah, definitely. Just words of encouragement, and that's that's all it is. You know, we're just watching them um, shine and watching them grind, being able to get their ch- championships is just motivation for all of us. Not even just us that's in the sport, just the people of my, just the people back home in general. What does it do for the people back home to see you guys doing so well and so successful in the UFC? Like I said, it's it's just a spark of motivation. You know, there's a lot of um, a lot of times where the press and publicity that we get is not so positive but the fact that we're able to see three three young men out here that are doing something positive and represent the country in a bright light is is only is only going to be that much more fuel for the kids that are growing up like i said before mma is one of those sports that is kind of made for us is built for my people because you don't need a certain body type you don't need a certain amount of income to be able to do it it's just the success you're going to get is based off how much work you put in Well, Sadiq, you're awfully even keeled, pretty calm, subdued. A lot of UFC fighters throw a lot of trash talk around. Do you have any trash talking words for your opponent on Saturday? Nah, that's that's not me, man. You know, it's at the end of the day, this this I look at this as a sport. You know, is I'm just in there to get the business done. It's a game we play, but I'm not gonna force animosity if it's not there. All right, Sadiq, well, thanks for talking with us. Good luck this weekend. Thank you for having me.